Never care for your vagina like this. Yes, seriously, so many of us women at some point in our lives have either suffered from bacteria infection, lack of lubrication, or dryness down there. You know what I mean. And have done so many things we thought would help us in solving the problem, but unknown to us, have done more harm than good. In this video, I will talk about so many misconceptions surrounding how we care for our lady parts that should be stopped because they do more harm than good. Let's get into it! Hi, my name is Antonia from SmilingDiva.com. I'm a sexual health and relationship therapist. On this channel, we talk about sexual health and relationship issues and how to surmount it. And if you'd like to receive future notifications or videos of this nature, kindly click on that red button that says subscribe and also click on that little bell by the side of the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my new videos some time ago i made a video which i titled four ways to clean your vagina properly you can find that video here and if you've not seen the video i would advise that you go and watch the video it is very very informative and useful it's something that if you don't already know will be very very useful for you so after i made that video one of my subscribers sent me a message and asked me a question she said is it okay or is it good to wash your lady parts with detol and warm water of course You'll be shocked the answer is no so it got me thinking as i thinking i said yes there are so many of us that are thinking that a lot of things we do to care for our lady parts is actually the right thing unknown to us they are actually wrong and it took me back memory lane you know as i thinking because i remember when i was much younger i used to suffer from bacteria infection a lot i used to suffer from itching down there a lot and if i look back now and think of some of the things that i did to actually help me in solving this problem especially that problem of itching i laugh and uh, wow I, in fact I, i'm amazed to 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 realize that it was actually the wrong 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 thing they were actually causing more harm to me than good because i remember then my mother would tell me that i should use this same detail so I'm not I'm not trying to discredit Dettol. Dettol is very very good in other things. You understand? It's very good in other things. But when it comes to our lady parts and how we care for it down there, is a total no. I remember that there are some things I actually did while I was much younger that were actually wrong. I'm going to list them out, and also I'm going to talk about how they negatively affect us. You understand so that if you are still doing same you desist from it hence fault <clears throat> so i remember then my mother would tell me to use detol to wash down there so it will relieve me of the itching so what i do as a little girl now i will just go take detol put it in hot water and i will use it i will make sure that because of the itching eh, if that thing is itching you today it is like you cannot it's like you are in another realm entirely it's like you are in another world entirely so what i first of all do is i will make sure that i scratch that place to the extent that it will it will injure me just as i'll feel it that yes i have scratched it to the limit then i will now come and put dirt on in warm water i will now use it to wash off that place i will feel the pain because of course you know that because there's already an injury there the injury I, I i i got from the scratching that I'm, i that i did you know i'll now come and put that on there and it will pain me and i'll be feeling cool feeling jay-z with myself that oh yeah 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 that i have done the right thing because i'll feel the pain and then the itching will actually stop wow seriously that is so wrong so one hack that you should know today is never you use detol to wash 
deep down your private area it does more harm than good now Dettol contains let me show you Dettol so that you know what I'm talking about this is Dettol and another one this one is Savlon Savlon antiseptic so so the issue is this they are good products in their own right they do very well in other areas in disinfecting surface areas and many other things i'm not saying i'm not trying to discredit them they are very very good products but when it comes to taking care of our lady parts down there it is a no-no now these antiseptic products they they are not very favorable to our lady parts down there because one what it does is that you know that area is very sensitive the antiseptic in this product actually causes a drying effect on our lady parts yes because what it does is it distorts the ph balance down there actually in our lady pattern the ph balance is actually between 3.5 to 4.5 so the use of this antiseptic in our lady parts you know what i mean distorts the ph balance in that area that's what it does and when the ph balance is distorted a lot of things can happen it can cause infection yes because it kills all the good bacteria in that place don't forget in an earlier video you know i said that our lady part is made up of both good and bad bacteria when the good bacteria is more than the bad bacteria that means that the ph balance is normal but when the bad bacteria overpowers the good bacteria it opens that place up for bacterial infection for fungi to thrive so now what this antiseptic what they do is it kills both the good and the bad bacteria in fact when the good bacteria is no longer there that place becomes very open for fungi and other bacteria to thrive so that is the reason why this is a no-no in caring for our lady parts down there so the disadvantage is that it distorts the ph balance in that area so when the ph balance is distorted it makes the place more alkaline in nature and then as a result we we tend to start experiencing dryness in that area yes it causes dryness to us instead of something that you, you you must have felt that oh okay fine this thing is supposed to do us more good no it does more harm than good so what it does it causes dryness in that area for us it opens up that place because the ph balance is distorted already so it opens up that place and allow fungi and bad bacteria to thrive by so doing this can cause bacterial infection and you know what that means the infection you it causes you to itch and when you itch they bring injury to that place and when injury comes there the bacteria thrives more and it causes bad smell eventually so Dettol or savlon they are good for other things but not for taking care of your lady parts down there so Dettol and, and savlon or any kind of interceptive or soaps they are no no they are drying to our lady parts so that is one of it then secondly there's another misconception that they said that when the lubricant the the discharge that comes from down there that if you leave it in your in your body for longer than necessary it causes bad smell really seriously ah in those days eh, i used to remember then my mother would tell me that you have to be crisply clean that is how to know a woman that is neat so she taught me that i should dip my longest finger this is my longest finger she said whenever i'm taking my bath so this is my longest finger i should put it inside my body 
when I put it inside my body, I should use it to scrape all those discharge that is surrounding that place and wash off with water. Seriously? That is a no, no. It is so wrong. See, the body, God has made our body secrete that lubricant. What that lubricant does cannot be overemphasized. One, that lubricant is naturally produced and is the one that actually cleans our lady parts. It is not the antiseptic you use or the soap that you put down there or the one million douches that you douch with all these both scented and unscented douches that actually cleans our lady parts. It, God made it so. God made our body secrete that lubricant in order for it to clean our lady part properly. That is the liquid that actually cleans our lady part. It is not the other things, like I said before, that actually cleans our lady part. So why take it off? Do you know that doing that causes more harm than good because you are removing that thing the natural lubricant that god has put in your body to help you fight against fungi and bacteria and all the bad bacteria in that area you are ripping it off so from now henceforth it is a no-no it is not that liquid or lubricant that causes the bad smell it is not the length of time that the lubricant stays or the mucus you secrete a hair. It is not the length of time that it stays that makes you smell. The reason why you smell badly is as a result of bacterial infection. That is the reason why you smell badly. It is not the length of time that the mucus you secrete, the lubricant you secrete from your body stays in your private area or in your underpants that you wear that causes that bad smell so never 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 you try to remove that liquid or that mucus that you secrete that we call discharge never you remove it because they are there to help you fight against bad bacteria they are there to help you fight against fungi infection so that is a no-no the third misconception I want to talk about today is kind of funny. I don't know how many of you women can actually relate with this, but if you are a woman who have who have suffered from itching down there, you may be able to relate with this. I, for one, have actually done this before, and when I look back now, I just sit back and laugh and say, "Wow." How could I have done that? Now, it is the use of native chalk on our lady parts. I remember then when I was much younger because I've always had this problem of itching, seriously. So one of the things I did then, which I'm very shy, to, well, I'm shy but I need to say it because I really don't know who this would help somehow. So I will grind this native chalk against a hard surface. So I will I won't grind it very smoothly anyway. So I will grind it in such a way that it will still leave some crumbs on it that is hard. So when I'm so when that itching happens or whenever it occurs, I will now use that rough native chalk. I will grind it against the wall of my lady part. I will use it to scratch and scratch and scratch it very well and allow the chalk to enter inside very well. And you know, somehow then I used to feel that I'm relieved. It relieves me. As soon as I do that, I get some relief. And then maybe after a while it happens again, I will now take the native chalk, I will now put it again, I will now use it, I will scrub it and rub it against my lady parts and rub it very hard against it until I feel that, I feel pain and then I get relief from the itching. Wow, this is a no-no. You see, by doing so, I open that place up for bacteria to try bad bacteria to try so if you do this 
or if you can relate with this if you are a lady a woman a female out there who suffers from itching this is actually a no-no disease from doing it as it causes more harm than good then the fourth misconception i'll just touch on this a little bit but i'm going to be talking more of it later in another video because i perceive that this video has become too long that is allowing semen to stay in your private area for longer than necessary i know that a lot of women who are believing god for the fruit of the womb will identify can identify with what i'm saying you know there's this misconception that because you are looking for the fruit of the womb you want the semen to swim deep down into the uterus so after intercourse you tend to raise up your two legs and so that with the with the hope that with the belief that the semen will travel to the uterus faster than necessary and by so doing you tend to leave the semen in your private area for longer than necessary wow seriously this is a no no let me tell you the ph balance of semen is between seven to eight which tends towards alkaline and then the ph balance of your lady parts is between 3.5 to 4.5 which tends towards acidity by the time you allow semen to stay in that place for longer than necessary it distorts the ph balance in that place and you know what this will eventually lead to which i have said before i do not know i do not know really if any of you can relate with what i have said so far if you have experienced any of these things before let me know in the comment section below okay so if you have any other thing you feel any suggestion that you feel can actually help kindly state them in the comment section below so if you like my video kindly click on the like button give this video a huge thumbs up see you next time bye